You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. Welcome to Mr. Pop's Neighborhood. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood. And nobody can deny it. Welcome to Mr. Pop's Neighborhood, where everything is all good in our hood. How you all doing today? Good. Guess what our discussion will be today? What? What? Yeah. what? Bullying. What are the three principles? Identify, notify, and the teacher will rectify. Say it one more time. Identify, notify, and the teacher will rectify. Those are three very important principles. Say it one more time. Identify, notify, and the teacher will rectify. Now let's break down those principles. What's the first principle? Identify. How do you identify? By you, by, by seeing by seeing who who is the bully. That's right. Okay. Or who is the victim. Okay. Now what's the next principle? Um, notify. notify. Let's break down notify. Notify means to see what what was happening. Notify is to know who the bully is. Watch this. Let's try it again. Notify. Notify means to inform the teacher. There you go. What's the next principle? Teacher rectify. rectify. Rectify means that the teacher will handle it. Did teacher rectify means that if you see anything going on that's about bullying, then you should go tell a teacher and not watch it. Once you identify that there's a bully present, you don't take matters in your own hands. You identify who the belly bully is, you notify the teacher, you inform the teacher who the bully is, and the teacher will resolve it. The teacher will solve the problem. Because if you try to solve the problem, you'll make matters worse. Now say snitching. Snitching. Say there's no such thing as snitching. There's no such thing as snitching. When you're helping one another. When you're helping one another. You're supposed to inform the teacher there's a bully present, so there's no such thing as snitching because you're trying to help one another, correct? Yes. yes. Now guess what? We're going to talk about the different forms of bullying. Say silent bully. Silent bullying. Say uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Say intimidation. Intimidation. Anytime a person is uncomfortable in your presence, they're intimidated. Anytime a person is intimidated, that's a form of bullying. Y'all understand that? Yes. Now, you have silent bullying, then you have facial expression. Say facial expression. Facial expression. That's a form of bullying. That's when you roll your eyes and look at a person all funny, they see the facial expression. Y'all understand that? Yes. And it makes the person feel uncomfortable, correct? Yes. Nobody has a right to be uncomfortable, correct? Yes. yes. You all come to school to learn, right? Yes. Let me give you an example. If my desk is at the front of the class, and you all's desk behind me, and you all see me get up to walk back to the back of the room to go to the pencil sharpener, and as I'm walking back to the pencil sharpener, I kick the leg of your desk, and you're down there focusing on your work, but when I kicked your desk, that startled you, right? It distracted. Yes. It distracts you, correct? Yes. Now, when I walk back from sharpening my pencil to go back to my seat at the front of the class and I kick your desk again, how did that make you feel? I will feel annoyed because he keeps on kicking my desk. And you will feel uncomfortable. Safe. Safe environment. Safe environment. You all want to be in a safe environment, right? Yes. yes. That's not a safe environment. Now watch this. The following day, when you all see me get up from my desk and start walking in that direction, what do you expect me to do? Kick, kick the desk, desk again. Kick the desk again, right? 
Yes. So isn't that an uncomfortable feeling? Yes. yes. Do you all have a right to come to school to learn and be uncomfortable? No. No. So now that you identify I'm the bully, what's the next principle? Notify. And what's the next principle? Teacher rectify. Now, wouldn't that make a safe environment? Yes. But if you try to take matters in your own hand, you'll make it worse. Say it again. You'll make it worse. That's right. And somebody will get hurt. That's right. Now, I want to talk about ranking. Who knows the definition of ranking? I do, Papa. What is the definition? The definition of ranking is talking about the person, how he looks, or what he, what's he wearing, and, and like, when you talk about how they look and everything. That's right. Say verbal assault. Verbal assault. Do you all know I'm so happy that the Board of Education came up with a uniform policy? Now ask me why would I be happy that they came up with a uniform policy? Be oh. Because... Because kids will wear imp inappropriate things and like they will sag their pants. Now, say name brands. Name, name brand. brand. Can you all think of some name brands clothing? Polo. Polo, that's one. Anybody else? Rockaway. Rockaway, that's one. Gap Kids. Gap Kids, that's one. Baby Fat. Baby Fat, that's one. Say unfortunate. Unfortunate. Now, guess what? Everybody is not fortunate to be able to wear name brand. Now, just because that individual not fortunate to wear name brand, should that individual be picked on? No. No, no right? Yes. yes. They don't have a right to be picked on, correct? Yes. Just because their parents might can't afford name brand, correct? Yes. But that still don't make that person. Do you know how a person feel that if you come in the classroom and if there's 15 students in there, you have 12 students wearing name brand Jordans, Adidas, and Nikes. then that kid doesn't have any, that person feels uncomfortable, correct? Yes. I want y'all to really seriously think about something, okay? Yes, Pop. You have people that feel uncomfortable. They go home and they feel the solution is Suicide. Say suicide. Suicide. When you hear about an individual constantly getting picked on, feel like an outcast, feel like they're not accepted by the in crowd, feel like the class don't love them, all the school kids is talking about them, in the cafeteria when they walk by they feel as though somebody's talking negative about them, worshiping about them, that makes an individual go home, sit in their room, and their mind start wandering saying, nobody loves me. I shouldn't be in this world. I don't need to be around people who don't like me. And that's a result of them wanting to commit suicide. Is that fair to make a person feel that way? No. No? No. 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 So in Mr. Pop's neighborhood, how do we treat one another? We treat one, one another good and, and like good. we're at home. As if we were family? And you respect each other. Well, I want to thank y'all for coming to Mr. Pop's neighborhood. It's a so wonderful day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood. And nobody can deny it. Welcome to Mr. Pop's neighborhood where everything is all good in our hood. Yo, Ruger. What's up, Pop? Let the kids know number one is educational and the rap game is recreational. All right. Show them what you got. Yeah. Ruger Belly. Off of W. Yup. Huh? Okay. Uh, uh. Kids, put your hands up and open up your books. Kids, put your hands up and open up your books. Kids, put your hands up and open up your books and listen to this hook. Yeah, yo, I felt my life was cut short Till I met this man, her name Pop, up a juvenile court He sat me down, he started when he was eight When he was the class clown Yup, and then he started telling me That he must confess When he was eight, it was called DCYF 
He told me that how to be at my best. Now that I'm up in DCS. He told me don't get involved up in game turf. Till I met the great social worker named Mr. Duckworth. He told me to listen to pop because you're going through a phase. Yeah, and then I met this great worker named Sabrina Dougie Hayes. Then Pop showed me about the boss named Mr. Albert Johnson, the supervisor. Give him a lobster for appetizer. Yeah, and first thing I learned is watch out for so-called friends. Cause they the one that turn on you, get you locked in the pen. When I spent my time up at NYI, my cellmate was game banging, I was writing my rhyme. My friend was a pad in the pen. I was trying to figure out how to correct what would got me in. Now it's about education and graduation. Finishing school will be my great celebration. Young kids, this is the kind of knowledge that will get you into college. Yeah, I said, young kids, this is the kind of knowledge that will get you into college. Google Belly, Papa Dot Records. You already know what it is. What up, J-Bug? I see you. Much love. Young people go to school, go to school. Follow your dreams, follow your dreams. Achieve your goals, achieve your goals. And relate to me, and relate to me. I do this for the kids. So finish school and pump your mind full of knowledge like an inner tool and graduated, go to college, what I'm giving you. Streets trying to give you gang violence, drugs dealing too. Listen up to me, kids, don't let it get into you. All I do is get you stabbed and shot, family missing you. You can even ask my mental pop, the streets is pitiful. He's been through the rough times, what I'm trying to spit to you. Don't sell drugs or in the streets claiming sex. Be well above and you can rearrange your rep from young to educated, young and very bravest. Do something with your life, I know you can make it. Your brain and memory card, I know you can save it. I just wanna say big ups to my cousin David. We a powerful movement, we the world's greatest. We a powerful movement. Young people go to school, go to school. Follow your dreams, follow your dreams. Achieve the code, achieve the code. And relate to me, and relate to young people. Go to school, go to school. Follow your dreams, follow your dreams. Achieve the code, achieve the code. And relate to me, and relate to me, yeah. Ruga Valley, it's best to for the kids right here. Go to school and get that education. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. Yeah. Whatever came to wake up your brain My flow so insane Every time I spit Money on my mind But to leave I'ma get a little bit of shine In the all white fit it My team stand tall While you looking like a midget I don't think you get it I don't think you get it Hold up Watch the crowd go wild When I roll up We can barely cash you So I go nuts Every time I spit You know us Every time I spit So everybody know us You let like to talk about guns The little homie so up Hug a little fat I think it's about to throw up Hug a little fat I think it's about to throw up Ain't nobody stopping us Show you what we came to do All for W Music you can listen to So everybody rock with us Show you what we came to do Came to take it over Now we entertaining you Ain't nobody stopping us Show you what we came to do All for W Music you can listen to So everybody rock with us Show you what we came to do Came to take it over Now we entertaining you Rugavel is the endless rap Stop all the bullying and gay violence and chitter chat Best believe I'm spitting that flow that you can listen to Hear it in your ear, I spit balls, I'm the sickest dude Catch me on the avenue, yeah But really trying to stop the violence 
trying to get the education so you can get knowledge go to the college and do it right cause the flow is so sick and i rap all day and night ain't nobody stopping us show you what we came to do all for w music you could listen to so everybody rock with us show you what we came to do came to take it over now we entertaining you ain't nobody stopping us show you what we came to do all for w music you could listen to so everybody rock with us show you what we came to do came to take it over now we entertaining you yeah Google Val, R4W, ready for whatever you dig.